Hey guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to be doing a review video for Google Chrome. It's an alternative to Internet Explorer, and if you're not a Firefox fan, if you're not interested with Firefox, you can always rely on Google Chrome. And it's a browser created by Google. It's even compatible for Windows XP with Service Pack 3. Windows Vista and Windows 7 and as you see I'm currently running Google Chrome 20 which is 20.0.1132.47M or however you say the version number and if you can even translate websites automatically by going to certain websites like Win History So actually if you want to translate the web page as you see I'm going to click translate. This is what it does. It'll tell you that the page has been translated. And that's the only interesting thing about Chrome as you see. It'll um, translate web pages just that easy. Instead of having the need of Google Chrome. We're going to test out winhistory.de. Just simply hit the translate button on a website that's on like a different language. It'll um, put it into whatever your language is. And as you see, you can also do add on. You can even customize the layout of Chrome by going to settings. Now see I changed the home page, I added it where it'll open up a specific page. Um, you can even get themes for the appearance. I got it where the home button can show. I got the bookmarks bar to show right here. And, and for search engines I use Google and you can even manage your search engines. can easily remove ones that you don't want. And then we'll just use, that's the only ones I'd probably need. We, I use Google as default. Now I even have what it says, enable faster searching. And it determines how many users are using Google Chrome. You can even make it via your default browser. And you get more advanced settings for you like your privacy, password, informs, web content, network, languages, and your downloads. I got it where it will ask where do I want to save my downloads. And let's see if we can get some themes for Chrome. And it will bring you to this Chrome web store. See about the Google theme. And they got like a variety. Check out the abstract theme from Google. It'll download like in seconds. It's just like the personas in Firefox. And a lot of people have been switching from Firefox to Chrome lately. And if you don't like the thing, the appearance, you can always go to where it says reset the default theme. You can always go to get themes to get more under your apps. 
Oh, you got out of Google account. Get to special apps. Or you could just go about the extensions. For, let's talk about extensions that we can go ahead and move on. You can available get these at the Chrome Web Store for free. You got Adblock and the Adblock Element Hiding Helper, which is the disable ads on YouTube. Let's say we're going to open up a new tab and we're going to go to YouTube, right? See, you notice that big advertisement is missing, as you see. And if I go to a certain video, it won't show the advertisement, so I click to skip the ad. Because normally the ads will be right, right here. And it even has decent HTML file support. You can enable the extensions through incognito mode. And right here you can be able to click your click your history. And I think this browser is pretty okay, but I'm not a big fan of it. And I even got my feeds right here. And it automatically checks for updates whenever you go to the about box. And it's based off the Chromium browser which is the beta of Chrome which is like a bluish of the Google Chrome icon. I'm going to show you how you do incognito. You go back to your start menu or wherever Chrome is, you want to click on this little arrow, go to new incognito, and it'll show this little guy like right here. It'll prevent from tra special tracking on the, from cookies. And it's pretty basic to use. So this is just a little quick video on my Google Chrome review and what I think of it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.